something, 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 Hopefully, we, we don't ask what this song is and somebody says, like, Michelle Branch or something like oh, that. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. I like the song here. Down, do something, something, yeah, something. We're headbanging for yeah. those that can't see us. Yeah. Oh. Dude, uh. this music gets me pumped, man. This is why I like the OSL. Like, you know, like I said, you, get, you guys gotta go watch Stork vs. Flash, awesome game. Watching that, you know, you come in, you just have this music pumping, and it just gets you so stoked. And then after, when the guy loses or wins, you know? It does. It keeps going. So, I, honestly, most of these songs, most of the songs that they play at all these MSL and OSLs, like the whole song as a whole usually kind of sucks, and I wouldn't actually right. listen to it. But, right. you know, but after, hearing it, like, after hearing it like 20 times, you, you kind of get used to it. Anyways. Uh, By the way, we're Matt and Steve. Oh, we're recording now. Oh, yeah. That's so, <laughs> so uh, this is Matt and Steve SC. We're bringing you the Ever OSL. This is Pure versus Hwasen, as you Hwasen. can see. Pure on the left and Hwasen on the right. This is going to be Group B of the round of 16. And the standing so far, just so you know, in this group, we have Yellow, Pure, Zero, and Hwasen. Um, so I, I think that Zero and Hwasen are kind of the favorites to move out of this. Uh, but certainly, this match is one that can go either way. Mm -hmm. um, Pure is about... 47, 50 percent or so in, in all of his matchups uh, versus Taron, he's 47 percent, and Hwasen, um, of course, his best matchup is versus Zerg, but he's also, actually, his worst matchup is pretty much versus Protoss, and he's about 47 percent versus Protoss. So statistically, they're about the same against each other's races. Hwasen, though, um, arguably the more experienced player, he's made it to round of 16 many, many times. Um, yeah. Pure, more kind of an up-and-coming player, but I have been impressed with him, especially also his uh, PVZ. We watched him actually, I think it was actually against, um, no, it wasn't against Z uh, Yellow because he lost a game to Yellow, um, but I think it was in the MSL. He pre played um, pretty pretty well against the Zerg, yeah. and I can't remember who that was against. But anyways, this is the Terran player up here at the 12 o'clock position. This is El Nino, which you could probably tell by the spawn positions and the ice no. tile set. Um, so, Hwasen, of course, being the Terran player, and Pure down there on the bottom right in green. All right, and uh, yep, we are playing on El Nino. You don't know, we don't have a whole lot of stats on El Nino because it is a newer map, um, but uh, but it is the map, the three-player map that has the minerals around the edge, and uh, which we haven't really seen a whole lot of play happening through that around the edge minerals, um, not like uh, Outsider, which there used to be a lot of play going on on the outside. So not as much going on, also has kind of the weird awkward nuclear looking symbol in the beginning and the middle of the map that uh, that I always enjoy but uh, as far as this goes uh, it's it's a, a a very kind of spread out map and uh, there certainly is a the expansions are, are easy to get and uh, we're gonna see standard coming from Terran here going the supply depot into barracks and uh, uh -oh. I, was, I was almost looking for a Zerg build here but we're and looking we're at Protoss. going to see possibly a 12 Nexus I believe yep he's saving up money there Yep. Never, ever, ever, ne ever, 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 ever something in never. Korean in a cloud. You know, I don't get, see, this is what's funny about, like, English and other languages. English, well, we do have some Spanish words, but otherwise, like, you don't see, like, it's we all don't, English. Yeah, we're not yeah. writing, like, Korean R signs or anything like right, that, but, right. but, like, the Koreans, you know, they, they have English. A lot of times you see it in other right. countries. I think it's just because English is such a popular language. Right. Um, which I, I don't know. Well, and uh, I had some friends that came back from India after six months in India, and they learned some Hindi, but they spent six months in India knowing some Hindi. Yeah. And were able to live just fine. And uh, yeah, a lot of. In fact, it's interesting. Something to mention. Uh, one of my friends who went to visit my friend in India was in an airport in in, in uh, Korea for a layover and saw Pro Starcraft in the Korean airports, awesome. which I think is awesome because uh, you know here in America you see other sports so now I should say um, one thing is interesting uh, as we mentioned he did fast expand that's kind of risky on a three-player map you know there's only two yeah, places to right. scout there's not a great distance here so Gogo -Go coming in here I would not be surprised at all if when he saw this Nexus he just did a bunker rush Um, that's usually the response and what is he doing with this SCV though is he gonna proxy a factory or something I think he's gonna proxy a factory he proxy that's that. actually unfortunate um, for Hwasen, I'm sorry, I think I, I think I called him Gogo -Go -Go a second ago, we just casted yeah, yeah, Gogo. -Go. Yeah. Um, that'd be unfortunate for Hwasen, actually, what is he, I think... He's building a factory in his base, I, and... I, No, no, I think he's just scouting, and I think he must have seen Pure's probe or something, or, or oh. not seen his probe, and thought that he was at the other base, and that is terrible for Hwasen now. Um, yeah. Didn't take the extra time, he's trying to cut corners, and now he's going to see, okay, he's not in that base, now he just wasted a ton of time, he's not going to see the fast nexus... Um, so I don't know, maybe go back and review that. I'm not sure why, why that was, but it looks like 
um, Hwasa now, yeah, he does have his command center going up, so he's going to be a little behind. Unfortunately, he went for the um, the fast expand as well. And meanwhile, Pure's had his Nexus up now for like, you know, 30 yeah. seconds a minute. So Pure definitely going to be ahead in the economy, um, but but a fast expand from Hwasa, or not fast expand, excuse me. One factory into fast expand is, is a really good build against Protoss, so I don't think he's going to be too far behind, but certainly Pure was able to get a quick advantage there that, you know, otherwise went completely right. in the hall. hall I, 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 I'm really, I'm trying to think of what, I, I don't know what happened with Hwas in there with the scout as well, but he is able to ward off the scout incoming from uh, Pure, so that's really good. Um, it should be mentioned that again,